Hey guys, how we doing? It's Wes here and what we're doing today is we are grilling up some venison chops off of a doe that I killed uh, late October. So let's just jump on in and kind of show you what we're working with. All right guys, so this is what we're gonna be using today. Um, we need some Worcestershire sauce, some olive oil, some red wine vinegar, minced garlic, salt and pepper. Always gotta have your trusty Reynolds wrap. And then I like using a meat, meat thermometer. And then I just got a uh, aluminum foil pan that we'll use a little bit later. So for uh, time purposes, I already did the marinade. It's been sitting in the refrigerator. What you're gonna do, okay, is you're gonna do a, a quarter cup of red wine vinegar, a fourth of a cup of olive oil, one tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce, one teaspoon of salt, an eighth of a teaspoon of pepper, and then I did a half tablespoon of garlic, uh, minced garlic. So you're gonna put all that in this bag, okay? And then you're going to put it in the refrigerator eight to 12 hours, okay? So these chops, these chops uh, come off the, the back loin. They're really tender, but uh, having a marinade, marinade even makes it a little bit better. So uh, I'm really excited to, uh, to fry these up. Um, what this uh, what this part of the animal is is it's it's along the line of the, the loin uh, it's super tender but I like to add a little bit of marinade especially for people that don't like the gamey taste um, I think that's an awesome part of venison uh, that you just don't get in in beef and, and some other uh, some other animals so uh, you are eating what the, the deer eats so uh, it, it adds to some of the flavor so uh, but for that you know for that purpose we do like to, to marinate it makes it a little bit more tender uh, and then takes out some of the gamey taste so as you can see we did that all you're going to do is just put it in a, in a ziploc baggie um, and uh, and let that uh, refrigerate overnight it's about eight to twelve hours every couple hours just flip it over so it's getting uh, it's getting uh, marinated on on all the all the parts of the of the chop all right guys, so what we're doing is we're just putting a little bit of olive oil, heating this pan up, um, and then uh, I'm going to get the uh, chops out of the marinade. So like I said, you're going to let these uh, let these soak for overnight or all day if you're if you're doing it before work. Uh, this is how they, they come out. They're super tender um, and just a really nice, really nice uh, juicy marinade on, on top of them. Just going to grill these up uh, in a pan. Uh, with a little bit of olive oil. You don't want it too hot uh, because it is pretty lean meat. Uh, you want it to cook all the way through. Uh, like I said, two to three minutes, uh, so about a, a minute and a half uh, each side, uh, depending on how you like your uh, like your steak. So what you want to do is uh, have a have a meat thermometer. Um, if you've cooked a lot of uh, beef in the past, uh, that it's we're talking apples and oranges here. So you want to have a meat thermometer. About 125 to 135 is, is where people like to uh, to stay if you're uh, wanting to, to be at a kind of a medium rare. And if you pass that, that you know, 135 to, into 140, it just really gets uh, dry and pretty tough. All right, so we just took it out of the pan. It's been uh, grilled for about two to three minutes. Uh, it's, they've got a nice uh, browning on them. Uh, we put it in this aluminum foil pan and we're going to... The oven is heated up to 425, we're going to finish it off uh, in the uh, oven for about four to five minutes. All right, so it's been in uh, the oven for a couple minutes, and we're going to take it out. We're going to check the, uh, the temperature, the internal temperature. It should be somewhere between 125 to 135. Um, depending on the, the different types of meat, uh, it's going to be, uh, it's going to vary. So, yep, perfect. About 130, uh, and I'm going to wrap, uh, I'm going to wrap these in aluminum foil and let them, uh, uh, chill. Uh, I think a big mistake that a, pe a lot of people make is they eat the, they eat the meat immediately and they don't let the, uh, the juices kind of go back out to the, uh, the rest of the meat. So that's what I like to do with the aluminum foil. and wait about 10 minutes and then uh, feel free to eat. This also gives you time to, we're not doing it right now, but this gives you time to finish up some other stuff. If, you, if you're if uh, you finishing some pasta, that's normally about what you know pasta takes to, uh, to cook. Um, if you uh, got any potatoes that need to, to finish uh, uh, or, or get a salad or something ready. So um, just gives you a nice time to let the uh, meat chill and, uh, and finish cooking a little bit and then also for you to finish up the meal. 
All right, so the meat's been uh, resting or, or chilling for about 10 minutes. Uh, that just lets all the juices kind of disperse back into the meat. What we've done, then this is how a, um, a piece of venison should look like. I know it's when, when you come up to it, it's going to look a little bit uh, rare, but you really don't want it to be, um, you, you need some pink in there just because of how, how lean it is. So um, it's pretty easy, pretty easy uh, process. All right, the meat's looking awesome. I'm ready to, to dig in on this stuff. Uh, just the, the last thing I want to say is is the field or the, the timber to the fork is really what's, you know, I think the impact for SKG and especially myself. I uh, believe it was October 22nd. I, I humanely took a, a doe. She ran about 40 yards. Um, didn't know I was there. Made, made a perfect shot, a cording away shot uh, right through the heart. And... Um, Probably the most humane death that a, a doe that a deer can have uh, and then uh, being able to utilize that meat so we try to eat anything that we we kill we don't just do it obviously we have you know fun with it and it's a it's a great time in the in the woods and the, the friendships and everything but also bringing it to uh to nourish our bodies so uh just a, a very cool uh end of a chapter or closing out a chapter for for this uh for this deer